Here comes the flop. Oh, it's come King 6 deuce with 212. Antonio drops his head, as you can see. That's because Vanessa has a first roll now. Really, really good players, I must say. There you see the winner is going to take home over 870,000. Our current chip leader is Andrew Robel. Andrew's got 9.7 million in chips. Antonio Esfandiari going for a second WPT title tonight with 6.1 million. And the lone lady at the table, Vanessa Russo, is now on the short stack with 1.7 million. Vince, she came to this final table as chip leader. She's now on the short stack. Lady Maverick in a bit of trouble. Now the Annie's are 15,000 blinds, a 60 and 120. Here we go. Antonio's going to fold. And now Lady Maverick looks at her hand. She's got a big one. Ace Queen. Come on in. And she goes all in for 1.7 million. Andrew Robel, our chip leader, looks at an ace king. I call. And he's quickly calling. Well, Andrew has Vanessa dominated. This could shatter the dreams of Vanessa, who desperately would love to win a WPT title. Andrew up on his feet. The crowd going nuts here. And of course, Maria Ho and Tiffany Michelle, good friends of Vanessa Russo. Two good poker players in their own right, rooting their lady friend on, but she needs luck. And she hits it on the top as the queen comes up. There you go. Vanessa out in front with two queens. It's not over. Vanessa is very stoic. She is not flinching over this until those last two cards come out. Yeah, Andrew needs to catch a king to take the lead. A jack will give him an ace high score. Well, drag it up, Jack. Jack. Vanessa's professional wants to know she doesn't celebrate too early. But she's out in front of the queens. Here comes the turn. It is a king. Unbelievable. Tough luck for Vanessa Russo right there. That is Heartbreak Hotel for Vanessa right there. It's like she thought it was coming. And Philly breaks her leg down the stretch. This is awful. Now she needs the miracle. Yeah, Antonio and Andrew, good friends. Antonio trying to hide his eyes, didn't want to see the bad beat at the river in case it would come up. Vanessa needs a jack for the split, a queen for the win. She gets a queen. Oh my God. She spiked the queen. Unreal. The lady at the table called a lucky lady on the river. She's going to make for some good TV. What an incredible hand. Which poker site do you think runs the most cash games? Poker Stars? GG Poker? Nope, it's actually WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With over 10,000 daily active cash game players, WPT Global is the premier site for real money cash games. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT37 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Right now back to the action. Vanessa Russo picks up two aces, man. She just had a queen on the river to stay alive and now she picks up two aces. Could it be destiny for the lady? Weapons of mass destruction she picks up. She makes the raise, goes to 300,000. Andrew with a queen jack makes the call. Magician flies away. She just got all those chips off Andrew. He's trying to get them back, but he's going to have to hit quite a flop to beat these two aces. Here we go. The flop comes ace, eight, four, all clubs. Vanessa has three aces, but Andrew does have the flush draw. You know, he's got to sweat it. Andrew checks. His three of a kind here is going to bet 400,000. Look at this, Vince. Andrew looking back at his cards. Now, normally a player does that to see if one of his two cards are a club. Could be a reversal, though. It could be tricky, but this time he's not. Now, he's making the call, Vince. If I was Vanessa, I would absolutely put him on the flush draw here. Well, he'd love to catch a club. Can he? Here comes the turn. No, no club, but it is a queen. It does strengthen Andrew's hand, at least in his mind. Not in reality, as Vanessa's got the three aces, so a queen or a jack is not going to help him. He checks again. I'm all in. Wow. Vanessa going all in this time. Very strong bet. She's going to make him pay for it if he wants to get lucky. It's a $3.7 million all-in bet, Vince, into a pot that's got $1.5 in it. 
Andrew knows he's not getting the right price mathematically to make this call. Does he want to gamble? It's probably about the only bet I'm going to fold to. And he's going to do the right thing. He is going to lay it down. So a nice bet by Vanessa to the delight of her husband, Chad Brown, and mom. Well, let's check the wonder cam here, though. But oh, look, oh. that seven of clubs comes oh. off. Andrew would have made the flush to knock Vanessa out of this tournament. So a beautiful bet by Lady Maverick going all in. That is perfect poker. Yeah, she takes another chunk of chips from Andrew Robel. In poker, I make most of my income playing high stakes cash games. I don't think there's really a huge difference between tournament and cash game poker like some people do. I think it's all about putting players on hands and playing against them perfectly. There's the great Doyle Brunson with the Royal Flush Girls. Well, Vance, he got knocked out with two tables left in this tournament trying to make it to this final table. But when I see him sitting there with the Royal Flush Girls, not so sure he's upset about it anymore. <laughs> All right, back to the felt we go. Andrew Robel, a quick fold, and now Antonio Espandieri with just 8-4. He's going to raise. Makes it 325,000 to go. Well, Vanessa looking him up with a king seven here, just not buying it that he's got a hand. We're going to see the first three. Here they are. And it's a queen jack 10. Big open ended for Vanessa Antonio. Quickly reaching for chips. Now betting 470,000. And without hesitation, Vanessa calls him with the open end straight draw. Yeah, she doesn't believe him. And here comes the turn. Well, now a king comes off. So Vanessa now has two kings, but you're fearful your opponent's got a straight here, Vance. King, queen, jack, 10 on the board. And look at this. Antonio is going to bet, nevertheless, with absolute poppycock. Well, Vance, the only way you could possibly call him here to think he had absolutely nothing, just like he does have. And Vanessa has made this call. Oh, that's a brilliant read by Vanessa. Unbelievable what a call this is. Now a seven comes off. She's now made two pair. Doesn't help Antonio. Can he possibly fire three times? Mullen. Whoa! Not just fire. He's gone all in. Unbelievable bet. Now, Vance, I'm sure because she didn't raise on the turn, he's not putting her on an ace. She might have a nine. But she is staring him down. Then she just senses he's at it, as we say, that he's just making a move here, which indeed he is. But folks, to pull the trigger for all your money with no hand in this spot, that takes a lot of heart. Antonio's got that. You're right. Vanessa was on him. You did say that you were going to bluff me on television. Remember that yesterday? You said, I'm going to bluff you on television. That is good info oh. because that's exactly what's going on here. He's trying to make the biggest deal of the year on the WPT. Well, Vance, because he said that yesterday, she suspects this is the time that he's doing it. That's why she called him on the turn with Kings. That river really helped me. And why she might call him here with Kings and Sevens. And Vince, this would be the greatest call we've seen in years on the World Poker Tour. Now I beat a lot of other hands. The magician is blowing up smoke and mirrors right now. And Vanessa would make the call of the year if she can figure this out, if she can read her man correctly, but there's so much pressure on her, will she do it? I don't think you bluffed me twice. She's got to make the lay down. The magician saws the woman in half. Now, well, Vance, in my view, you got to give both these players kudos for the way they played this hand. Show it, show it, show it. Antonio bluffing the pot all the way down. Vanessa suspecting it. You can't show blood. But what a play by Antonio Espandiari. Great poker we were witnessing. The Magician strikes again. All right, back down to the felt. Action on the Magician, Antonio. Antonio going out. And yeah, Vanessa Russo now with a king five, just calling. And she limps in in the small blind. Andrew looks down at Jack three offsuit in the big blind. Most of the time, you're just thrilled to take a free flop with that hand. And that's the case here as Andrew checks. So we're going to have a flop. King five up against Jack three, who will be lucky. And look at this, three of a kind for Andrew Robel, just like that. And it's come Jack, Jack eight, Vanessa checks. Andrew's not going to slow play it, Vince. He's going to lead right out. 160,000. Sometimes the best way to play a monster. Now Vanessa's calling with just King I here. And I don't know if she thinks she's got the best hand, or she's thinking about making a move later in this pot. Oh. But another jack comes off. Andrew's got four of a kind. He has four jacks. Luckily, she has checked. 
he is. Now this is strange that he would even bet this. He's hoping she's got an eight in her hand and she's gonna call off a couple big bets. A half a million. How much did you start the hand with? I have 500 left, 5 million left. I just got about 5 million left. Now obviously Vanessa has about 8.5 million left, so she has more chips. And look at this fence. She is going to raise. She has check raised it to a million here. Awful timing, of course. Oh, that is just dreams and trumpets going off in your head here for Andrew. But Vince, can you believe he is raising with four of a kind here? This is a misplay at the highest level. You don't re-raise at this point. Just suck her in. Vince, he's in position on her. If he just calls her, she might make a big bet on the river. He lost that money by betting. Even if she had an eight there, she might get away from it with this big raise. Oh, we know that. But, you know, he's obviously a great player. He's talented. He's takes. there. Nice play, Robles. But that is a major mistake. We're really close. Uh, Vince, I've seen a lot of mistakes at this final table. i got to tell you the truth. I know they're great players, but even great players make mistakes. Yeah, we see it all the time. Under the lights, very tough. That time, he, I think he knows it now, and he pulls the next hand. And now the magician, Antonio. Well, he's on the short stack with just 2.1 million here, Vince. All in. And he's going to push all in. And he knows the king has a favorite over a two-card random hand, so he just moves in with it. Wants no drama, just wants to take this pot right now. How much is it? We know Antonio is very capable of making this move with like count, a 7-4. Any two cards, I'm telling you, it's a borderline call. So he's got king eight of clubs. You're absolutely right. Nothing special here. Well, especially against this player. It's tough to lay this down, but tough to call, too. I call. Oh, boy. She's made the call. Shift the cheese. King nine, she's got king eight. He likes Antonio, as you can see. Good luck, Antonio. Thank you. He jumps up to the got king nine, she's got king eight. Babies. Babies. I think it was a tough decision for her against this particular opponent. That's for sure. I can't look. Unfortunately for Vanessa, she's dominated right look. now. I can't look, you know? Well, I guarantee it. Before he saw her hand, Antonio did not want her to call. Now that she's called, he's loving it. Corner pocket. Not, wait, isn't an eight ball corner pocket? Oh, it doesn't it's matter, not. Antonio. Just have your hand hold up. Here comes the flop. Oh, it's come king six deuce with two clubs. Antonio drops his head, as you can see. That's because Vanessa has a flush draw now. She'll also take the lead if an eight comes off. So a lot of outs for Vanessa Rousseau to win this pot and eliminate Antonio. She loves the action. Can she get lucky? Not there. It's a deuce of space. Well, Here's the bounce. Board. That gives her a lot more outs to at least get a split out of this pot. If an ace, a king, a queen, a jack, a ten, or a deuce comes up, they would split this pot. Any club gives her the win, as does an eight. So she's got a lot of outs to survive here. In terms of this part. Can Vanessa make the magician disappear? In a three of diamonds. Not to be. With well, a dream card for Antonio. Look at him jumping up and down like a kangaroo over in his rooting section. He knows he dodged a lot of bullets to win this pot. Into the mosh pit. Holy <laughs> shit, And Antonio very happy to double up here, Vince. And once again, the dreams of his second WPT title are still alive. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Three players remain here at the front. Tabula out to Acalosio. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action on the WPT. Which poker site do you think runs the most cash games? Poker Stars? GG Poker? Nope. It's actually WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With over 10,000 daily active cash game players, WPT Global is the premier site for real money cash games. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT37 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Action on Vanessa. She's just going to call with the button with an ace deuce. Andrew goes out. And now Antonio with an ace nine. He says, okay, let's have a flop here. Not going to raise with it. Interesting. Now flop comes king, nine, seven, two spades. Antonio has second pair with top kicker and checks. Nothing hitting there for Vanessa, and she's going to check as well. Going to the turn. Well, the seven of spades comes off. Pairing the board and putting three spades out there, but Antonio feels certain his two nines are the best hand. Because she didn't bet on the flop. 
So he bets 425,000. And notice that she peeked back at her cards, Vince. To me, that is a tell to see if she's got a spade in her hand, which she does. She makes the call. Now the three of diamonds comes off. She doesn't get her spade. So I'm certain that Antonio feels like he's got the best hand with the two nines. So he's going to make a million dollar value bet here with him and going to get paid off by the this ace high. He proudly nine. turns up the ace nine. nine. They're good. And that's a just taking a shot that he was trying to bluff. She was wrong that time. Antonio taking down a very good pot. Value time! Value time! Well, that's we heard her say earlier at this final table. That from yesterday's play, Antonio said he was going to bluff her on television in front of her. We saw him do it already for the biggest part of the night for all his money. But she didn't see it because he mucked his cards. Now, on several occasions later, she thought he might be bluffing uh -huh. this particular time, paid him off, but he wasn't ever bluffing. So a little mistiming there. Let's go to this hand. Andrew Robo looking at one king and oh man, he's got the Cowboys yeah. pair of kings. Well, he's the chip leader and now picks up a big hand like this. Two kings. Happy days are here again. Let's see how he's going to play. Taking his time. This is the time to milk the Holstein, ladies and gentlemen. Now, look at this. He's making the minimum raise. Oh, yeah. Hee haw. He's raised it to 400,000. And he's getting re raised by Antonio with the ace jack. Vanessa goes away, and that's the beauty of doing the min raise. Sometimes it looks suspicious. You get a raise back. A beautiful moment for Andrew. Come on. And now he's coming back over the top with the Kings. Wow, kid, you run good, huh? He's not going to fool around. Give Antonio a chance to catch an ace on the flop. And Antonio could well pay him off here, but it would take all his money to do it. Would be very expensive. He knows there's a chance Andrew would make this play with two eights, two nines, two tens. Maybe a king queen suited. Maybe an ace ten suited. And just like that, poof, the magician is gone. Can't take the heat. Andrew taking down a good one. Well, give him credit for laying that hand down, man. That was a big hand in a three handed game to lay down. Oh. I gotta say, I think Antonio has played the best poker at this final table. Laying down Monster City. The other players have made big mistakes in my eyes. Monster kid. Antonio has not made that big mistake. Monster. He's made the biggest bluff at this final table. Yep. I have like six now, Antonio. Now you have so right there, Andrew out in front now with over 10 million in chips. Antonio with 5.3 million in chips. Just keep your eyes off my stock Robo Cakes, all right? You mind your own business over there. Vanessa Russo with just 2.2, only about 10 times the size of the big blind. So she got to try to make something happen. Let's see if she wants to try it here with just a queen deuce. Well, she's got the button. First to act. All in. And there she goes, Mike. Well, she's going all in. Just try to pick up the blinds and annies. One down. Andrew's folded. Wow. Oh, boy. First one is ultra primo, ladies and gentlemen. The ultra goods. Those are not the words Vanessa wanted to hear, I can tell you that. I mean, it's probably a call, but let's see what the ultra. Call. Well, it's a queen. She's quickly made the call, and Vanessa is not going to like it. Queen versus it's queen, queen versus queen deuce, but she's dominated yet again. You can't do anything with no cards. <laughs> let's, let's fade it this time. Let's fade it. <laughs> She's a great player. She came in this tournament as a chip leader. She's walking around all night long. But right Ace. now, she needs a lot of luck. Ace! Ace! Chad Brown and Vanessa's mom in the audience rooting her on for this big moment. We saw earlier at this final table, she was dominated by Andrew when he had Ace King. She had Ace Queen. She survived that end. All I want for my birthday is an Ace. That's true. Ace of spades. It is our destiny, Robles. It is our destiny after all the shit we've been through, huh? Yes. Sick. So sick. Can't get a hand. Twice she was the bubble girl, finishing seventh at WPT events, finally making the final table, came in with big chips, but right now it's coming down to this flop. Here we go. Now yeah, flop comes seven, six, five. No help for Vanessa. She's going to have to catch a deuce or two running hard to make That's a flush. Okay. Antonio very happy so far with that flop. Not the flop that Vanessa wanted to see. Can things turn around? On the turn. Here it comes. Well, the three comes off. That's a good card for Vanessa. And then now a four will give them both a straight where they'll split the pot. She can only win the pot with a deuce. But believe me, she'd be tickled to death to catch a four right now to stay alive. 
No other card will do for her. Must be a deuce or a four, or she'll be out in third place. River card coming up. She needs the miracle, but does not get it. There, the eight comes off. Well, she is gone. Lady Maverick has to say goodnight. Out in third place, taking home 358000 Antonio pulling the rabbit out of his hat. He is done at the down of two-way action. Vanessa has to say goodnight. She had a great week of poker. Unfortunately, just wasn't quite her night at this final table. Unfortunately, out in third place, it's Vanessa Russo. And I know that you've made some incredibly good calls in this tournament and some really good plays. One of them to get to the final table against Antonio, which I think you said was some of the best poker that you'd played. So you must be pleased with your performance overall. Yeah, overall for sure, definitely. I mean, I tried, all, I, all you can do in poker is make the best decisions you know how to make. That's what I tried to do. Um, I'm elated to have a third place finish here and to have made the final table in the first place. Um, I think, what, 300K or something. So that's a good payday. Uh, would have liked to have the win, but I'll be here again. I can't wait to learn this game. That's gonna be fun. Well, Antonio says he's a live game cash player. Doesn't do all the things the internet players do, so to speak. But Vince, as much as Antonio steals, I can't believe he doesn't know what the hijack position is. That's the steal position, two before the button. Well, to the game we go. Antonio, just 7-5, has raised to 600. To the flop. Andrew, not going to raise with ace What do you got, Robles? Queen-jack suited? Oh, good luck, sir. Queen-jack, something like that? You are going to need the luck. All right, a little subtlety there. Here we go with the flop. I can't wait to learn the game. Flop comes queen, 6-3. Six, six, no help for either player. It does give Antonio a gut shot straight draw. Andrew is first to act, and he's going to check it. Antonio. Wow. You know you have a continuation about every time today. Every single time. That is right. Puts the pressure on 820 with no particular hand at this moment. A continuation bet, meaning a guy raised before the flop, he bets after the flop, even if it doesn't help his hand. Andrew knows that makes a nice call here with just ace high. So four of spades comes on the turn. Antonio's hit the gut shot straight to make the nuts. He cannot lose this pot. Andrew's going to check. Question is, how can he extract chips out of his opponent? Well, he's doing it by betting 1.9 million. I don't really like this bet. I think he could chase away his opponent here. Might as well just dig the hole and set up your opponent. But yes, Andrew is going out. Well, he's going to take the pot, but I think he could have got a lot more if he checks. Well, maybe if he checks or bets a smaller amount, he might have got some chips. But as it is, Antonio wins that pot million. and takes the lead in this heads-up battle. Antonio first to act. He's got a jack four of diamonds. Nothing special, but he's going to raise. Yeah, makes it 800,000 to go. Andrew with a little four or five offsuit. It cost him another half million to make the call. Look at this, Vince. Forget about calling. He's coming over the top. He's going to re-raise with just a five high. <laughs> So all that hugging and kissing you saw out of these guys' best friends, forget about it. This is in-your-face poker right here. Mullen. But look at this. Slow down, cowboy. Mullen. Antonio is running perfectly. He's moved all in with just a jack high. There you go. Showing the crowd the bluff. Both these guys are really playing poker trying to win this thing. They're trying to outsteal each other. This time, the all-in bet wins it for Antonio. Perry Jacks, kid. Perry Jacks. I don't believe it. Show me. Perry Jacks. <laughs> Crazy poker going on. Stay with us. We're coming back in just a few moments here on the World Poker Tour. Which poker site do you think runs the most cash games? Poker Stars? GG Poker? Nope. It's actually WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With over 10,000 daily active cash game players, WPT Global is the premier site for real money cash games. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT37 and we'll match your first deposit, dollar for dollar. You've been running so good. I'm running good? Yeah, it's sick. Yeah. Lines are now 200 and 400,000. Winner gonna take home close to 900,000. It's on Antonio, he's got King Jack, makes it 800,000 to go. Andrew looks down at a Queen 10 offsuit. All in. And goes all in. Call. And you look at the snap call by Antonio. Shift the cheese. Come on, baby. And that's an amazing call for 5.4 million, not to blink an eye. King Jack 9-4. Antonio didn't. He's out front. If his hand stands up, he'll be a two-time 
WPT champion. King Jack nine flop. Come on, kid, one time. All right, you want to chop the money? No. <laughs> King! King! King ball! What's your name? Marcy. Marcy, you dealt the hand earlier. King ball. a better present, Vince, than a WPT title. He's got an opportunity to do that right now. If his hand just holds up. Where are the poker cards? Be looking down on Antonio. Oh, it's Ace King Six. Antonio's jumping around, but Vince, this is far from over. draw. So a diamond would give him the win, as well as a jack. So Antonio recognizing that now and slowing down a little. Well, the magician is only halfway through the trick. He's got to complete it. He's got to get the audience to get out of the room. He's got to win this title. Diamond, baby. Diamond, diamond. Andrew can do it. Oh. 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 pair of sixes. That's good for Antonio. We're down to the river. Andrew Robel must catch a diamond or a jack. Diamond. Otherwise, Antonio has found the will take down this title and become a two-time WPT champ. And Andrew wants to look down. No more hugging for him. He wants to see a diamond. Can he get it? No! It's a five of spade. Welcome back, Antonio Efaniari. You have done it. The magician levitates himself and takes down a WPT title, his second one. Andrew goes to the ground. He's a runner up. Uh, the loser goes to the ground. The winner goes skyward. That's the way it should be. The Mosh Pit and Antonio, they're all back here on the World Poker Tour. Yeah, I mean, it's Antonio's birthday. Luck was on his side. Um, he played very well. Um, you know, most guys his age have lost a game, but he's kept up. He's very aggressive. Uh, played very well, and he won. What more can I say? We hope to see you back here again. Okay, thank you, Carol. Thanks. And here's to the champion of the Doyle Brunson Five Diamond World Poker Classic, Antonio Espaniari. And until next time.